Thanksgiving. What is Thanksgiving like for you? Oh, well, um, Thanksgiving is nice. Um, I want to do my Thanksgiving differently this year because usually I go to my mother's side of the family, then to my father's side of the family father's side of the family. So I have two Thanksgiving, mm. magic of divorce. <laughs> so um, it's cool, but uh, you know, the traveling is inconvenient. I want to go and visit my sister in LA and have like a beach Thanksgiving, something different. I'm, I'm over the whole traditional auntie talking mess about your ways and stuff like that. And somebody's bad cabbage. I really just want to go and have a whole new environment. So a yeah. beach Thanksgiving. I've a beach never Thanksgiving. heard of that. Yes. What is that? Explain. Basically, on the holidays, instead of, you know, staying at home with your family, you go to somewhere where a beach is close by. Mm. Or a vacation, like, you know, where something you wouldn't normally do on Christmas or Thanksgiving or other holidays. Now, you said Cali. Yeah. Are the beaches cold this time of year, Thanksgiving, November? Or, or is it warm? Or is it, like, lukewarm? Like What? Well, last year I spent I spent my birthday on the beach at a bonfire for my birthday, November thirteenth, which just mm. passed. <laughs> um, uh, at, last year I had a bonfire at the beach and it was cold, oh. and it was like duckwaller, so it was kind of cold. But it usually is that way at night, like it's kind of brisk. But for somebody that's never been to LA, they always have it's warm during the day and then at night it's just like like a light switch. It yeah, turns yeah, freezing. yeah. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. It's like, can you can you be consistent? Because you know, I, I kind of like it warm. But it's not like uh, it's not when I say freezing. It's not like uh, Alaska freezing cold. It's it's a windy. You cold. need a jacket a, for yeah. sure. Absolutely, you need a jacket. It's cold at night. Now, okay. So before the traditional way was uh, uh, two separate Thanksgivings in one city. Yes. And how do you decide which one to go to first? Did well, it mom is first because, okay. you know, Mother Earth, Mother right. provided for the children. And, you know, she's a, she, she created the earth. You know, you got to go to mom first and you go to dad second. Who had the baby? You go to her first and you go to dad second. <laughs> so how many, that's how it's been. How many Thanksgivings has it been like that where you have to go to two? Um, all of them. Well, no, 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 that's not true. Um. When, uh, probably when, like, 14. Teenage years. Yeah, teenage years up to now. So that's, like, maybe 15 years. Mm. Yeah, 15 years. Somebody watching this, maybe they have to go to their first Thanksgiving in two separate households. Any general advice there? Um, eat light. Eat light because if you eat, if you, if you get hungry and see all the food and just pack on, you're not going to have enough space for the next family, I mean, for your, uh, your, your the second part of your family. Mm. And you're going to offend the second part of your family because they're going to feel like, oh, you're going to eat at that house? You can't eat my food? Experience. Trust me. It's, you're not going to want to have that conversation. Well, I mean, you know, it's a lot of pressure on me just to go here than to go there. Eat light. Just get a little bit of each, and then that way you have a space for enough. <laughs> now, speaking of food, Favorite food item at Thanksgiving dinner? What do you put the most of on your plate? What do you look forward to? Um, I like collard greens. Okay. And cranberry sauce. And who's? Mixed with dressing. <laughs> You're mixing this together I'm yourself. mixing the cranberry sauce with the dressing because I like a little sweetness on top of the salt. So, yeah. And who's cranberry sauce, dressing... Uh, uh, my mama, my collard mama, green. I my mean, mama makes great cranberry sauce. My daddy makes supreme collard green dressing. Still got some crunch in it. They don't boil it for 24 hours, so that way it keeps the nutri nutrients still in there. So it mm. got a little crunch to it. That's, I like it to have a little crunch, um, but it's still good and seasoned nice collard greens. Mm. Do you pitch in in the kitchen? No. Strip I mean, well, I will. I will eventually. But I am enjoying being spoiled because, you know, all the elders are still alive and cooking. So I don't have to do anything. So more of a taste <laughs> tester. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, I'm now, a taste tester. What's the worst item? Okay, the least you look forward to, maybe you don't put it on your plate. Or maybe you're respectful, you put it on your plate, but you just end up leaving it there. Cabbage. Not a um, cabbage. Not a cabbage. Cabbage. Fan. Cabbage. Cabbage. I complimented one of uh i complimented one, my, one of my grandmothers um on their cabbage one year and it, the compliment 
they took the comp well she took she took the compliment to extreme and she's been making cabbage ever since but it's it's not that great you know so mm. um now i feel like i have to eat the cabbage because it's a compliment i said 10 years ago so um now i have to prepare for the cabbage every year because i know it's going to be served to me first because of that compliment back then i see so yeah <laughs> the cabbage that continues to haunt you to this day it's yeah I'm, now, um, okay, uh, when it comes to Thanksgiving, favorite Thanksgiving memory, if you have one? Does any particular memory stick out to you of all the Thanksgivings you've attended? Um, okay. Families can be crazy. They are. Crazy things can happen. Yeah. I've heard some of these stories. Yeah. And then some people, it's just the regular day or so. Yeah, I honestly cannot think of a Thanksgiving where I remember. You know, I pretty much... I really don't want to treat Thanksgiving how the stores and, you know, the, the merchants treat it where they pretty much skip over it from Halloween to Christmas. But that's mm. how I feel like that. Those are my memories in my brain. Like, you know, it's Halloween and Christmas. I don't have a Thanksgiving memory that like, really just is just impactful. OK. Now, um, with the acting, the comedy stuff that you're involved with, uh, like even growing up as a kid, did you ever like throw on a show for the family for Thanksgiving? Like, did you, I know some kids do that. They, they do stuff like that. I, um. Did you ever get into that? Did what? you have a performance? Did you ever? Yeah, I, um, I, I performed, but I didn't know I was being watched. I used to talk to, well, in my, in the, my house growing up, there was a huge wall mirror. It was a mirror just, it was a wall that was a mirror, basically. Okay. And I would go into this mirror and talk to it every day to myself, coming to all types of characters, you know, neighbors and guests. They thought, oh, your child is, you know, a little different. But I was completely normal. You know, I was practicing for now. And I was being watched. I was in my own world. I didn't know I had an audience. So, mm. yeah, I was performing. I see. By accident. <laughs> By accident, you know. <laughs> now, have, do on Thanksgiving, do people ever watch, like, do they turn on something you've been in? Just like to watch, you know, they sit down. And, you know, some people, they watch yeah. football games and stuff like that, of course. Right? Yeah. But yeah. do they ever turn on, like, the Bobby Christina bio? Absolutely. Are, you know, like, are they watching one of your, something you've been on? Yeah, I have a very supportive family. Absolutely. My, my dad will turn on the recent thing that I've been on in just a split second. I just was in Bobby Christina. I played her best friend, Taylor. And he's been playing nonstop, just bragging about it. Anytime someone comes over, he turns it on. You're watching it. And then I was just in this uh, SAG, uh, this Visa commercial with uh, focusing on Julio Jones. I mm. played his mother when he was a little kid. And uh, he's been playing that commercial <laughs> nonstop for everybody to see. So I have a really supportive family. They're pretty much forced to watch it. So, yeah. Now, what about, um, what about Black Friday? That's a big retail day. Um, for some, the night of, after Thanksgiving, the morning after Thanksgiving. Uh, do you participate in Black Friday? No, I don't because I don't want to fight nobody. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't. I don't need. To, I don't need to deal with that bad. When it comes to Thanksgiving, obviously being thankful is the central theme. What are you thankful for this year? Well, I'm definitely thankful for my support system and the opportunities that are ahead of me. I'm thankful for my you know, my fans being so receptive to my comedy. You know, I had no interest in Instagram a year ago and it's pretty much you know grown and I have a following now and people respect what I do and actually enjoy it so it's actually pushed me more to fulfill my purpose as an entertainer you know I I just started off just wanting to be a, a serious actor now I'm thinking about doing stand-up and doing more things in comedy so it's I'm a very thankful for um, what I didn't know and what I know now so. Has the reaction been? Reaction from the comedy stuff. Oh, it's been it's been great. I didn't had a, a a pastor from Birmingham pray for me in my Facebook DM. I mean, it was a long prayer too. Mm. Um, but I, I I get a lot of supportive love and uh, and, and loving words and people just taking out time to, to to write letters and 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 message me how they feel and how I changed their day and they had a long day and they looked at my video and everything was okay like that that makes you want to go harder it feels very very good and it's just like wow I really am doing something it keeps you going absolutely you think this comedy bug may supersede the acting bug um no 
No. I know you can probably combine the two at some point. Absolutely. Though. I can combine the two. I, I, I am a comedian at heart, for sure, but um, just because of how I look at life. But I am an actress, too, so I can... I, I feel like comedy is what makes life worth living. So I wouldn't... If, it's, if it, you know, comes ahead of everything else, that would be wonderful, too.